the average age of a couple was 24 years after their first and second children twins were born the average age of the family became 13.5 years the average age of the family just after the third child was born was 13.2 years and the average age of the family after the fourth child was born was 16 years the current average age of the family is 19 years what is the current age of the twin children right what is the current age of the twin children options given to us are 14 years 15 years 11 years 12 years and 20 years okay now let us start working on it so like most of you have said you have used the equations you have used you have framed a number of equations based on the given statements and solved all those equations to arrive at the answer right so let's do the same see what happens the average age of a couple was 24 years right so uh, you know this is about a past time right a, a time in the past right because he says the current average age of the family is 19 years right the current average age of the family is 19 years which means current means what in the current uh, family we have the couple and four children right four children and the couple the current average is 19 years but then at one point of time the average age of the couple was 24 years right so the average age was 24 years we can say that the sum of the ages of the couple right the sum of the ages of the couple will be how much 24 into 2 which is equal to 48 years then it says I mean this is not the current sum this is the past sum right 48 years then after their first and second children were born the average age of the family becomes 13.5 years that means the sum of the couple plus the twins right their ages will be how much see the average was 13.5 multiplied by 4 because there are 4 members in the family right so 13.5 into 4 is how much 54 right 13.5 into 4 is 54 you're getting it we're just trying to find out the sum of various uh, you know numbers of members in the family right so initially the sum of the couple now sum of the couple plus twins is 54 then it says the average is the family just after the third child was born was 13.2 years right the average age of the family just after the third child was born was 13.2 years that means at that point the sum of the ages of couple plus twins plus the third child this was how much 13.2 into 5 what is 13.2 into 5 it will be 66 right then the average age of the family after the fourth child was born was 16 years average of the family after the fourth child so sum of the couple plus the twins plus the third child and the fourth child right sum of their ages is how much uh, 16 years was the average so 16 into 6 that is equal to 96 and the current average age of the family is 19 years the current average age of the family is what see understand uh, now again if you say current average age of the family is 19 years we'll get the same members the couple plus twins the third child and the fourth child but the difference is when you say 19 into 5 which is 114 and this is 96 the difference is how much 18 years how is the difference coming as 18 years how is the difference coming as 18 years because you understand that in all these four cases that we have taken in the initial case in case number one when we have taken the sum of the ages of couple it was 48 so you know we can say each member was 24 years old or the sum of their ages is 48 now when you say sum of the ages of couple plus twins understand this was immediately after the twins were born see after their first and second child which were twins were born the average age of the family became 13.5 that means at this point of time when the twins were born their age was zero right this was zero years you are getting it the age of the twins here was zero years we have to consider the whole sum sum of four members it is not this is sum of two members this is sum of four members couple plus twins but in that in in those four members two of the members which are this newly born children are zero years old right their age is zero years so the point is indirectly it says that the sum of the couple the sum of the ages of the couple when the twins were born was 54 years are you able to follow the sum of the ages of the couple when the twins were born was 54 years similarly when you go to the next point it says sum of the ages of couple plus twins plus third child understand at this point we have got the sum of these five members as 66 but in this in these five members the third child's age is zero years because see this is immediately after the third child was born right the average of the family just after the third child was born was 13.2 so after the third child was born his age was zero years only it should be considered as zero years so sum of the ages of the couple plus the twins comes out to be 66 so sum of ages of four members is 66 right 
Then in the fourth case, similarly, couple has got some considerable age. Twins have also got some considerable age. The third child will, the third child will also have some age now, right? Earlier we had taken zero years. Now he'll have some considerable value, right? He'll be some years old. But the fourth child is zero years old. Because the average age of the family after fourth child was born was 16 years. That means in this 96 years, which is the sum of the ages of how many members? Six members. The couple plus twins, the third child and the fourth child. So total six members age is 96. But in these 96 years, the fourth child age is zero. Are you able to follow? So this is only the ages of the couple plus twins plus third child, which comes out to be 96. Then he says the current average age of the family is 90 years. In this current average age, what happens? Again, after a few years, we are considering it. So sum of the ages of couple plus twins plus third child plus fourth child comes out to be 19 into 6, which is 140. Are you able to follow? So though the, you know, we are, we are finding out the sum from each of these things, each of these averages given to us. The point to be noted is initially it was only the couple 48 years old, right? Now the couple and twins, but twins are zero. Remember, this is equal to zero. The value of twins is here is zero, which means if you understand, the, let's say let's say the couple got married when their some of their ages was 48 years. The first set of children, the first twins, were born when their some of their ages was 54 years. So if you try to understand, if you take this time as zero, you know this is the starting time, right? This is the start, right? After how many years were uh, these twins born? After six years. Understand? Six years for their sum. You getting it? The couple's total is 48. When the twins were born, the sum of their ages becomes 54. Now, both the husband and wife have grown old. See, the difference is 6 years. But this 6 should be divided by 2, right? 54 and 48, how much is the difference? 6 years. So, can we say the twins were born after 6 years? No, the twins were born after 3 years. Because the 6 years increment is for both husband and wife. Are you able to follow? Twins is 0. The couple's age has increased by 6 years. From 48 to 54, the couple's age has increased by 6 years. Which means each person's age has increased by how many years? 3 years. Again, you cannot ask me, how do you know that each person has grown by 3 years? Can it not be that husband has grown by 4 years and wife has grown by 2 years? Impossible. Right? Both of them will grow equally. Right? It's not that wife will stop growing for some time, only husband will grow, then husband will grow up going, stop growing for some time and only wife grows. That won't happen. So the point is, when the sum was 54, the couple's age increased by how much? 6 years. So I can say, each person's age increased by three years. So this happened after three years. This is like an after three years situation. Right? The couple got married then after three years, the two uh, children were born. Similarly, if you try to continue now, you know that the third child is zero year. The age of the third child is zero. But the couple and the twins have got some considerable age. So when you say 66 years, when you say 66 years, again consider the difference. What happens? The difference between uh, 54 and 66 is how much? The difference between 54 and 66 is how much? It is 12 years. Are you able to follow? 54 and 66 is 12 years. That means how many, how many persons? See, it has increased by 12 years. The sum has increased by 12 years. Sum of whom? The sum of the couple and twins. That means sum of four persons has increased by 12 years. The age of, I mean the sum of the ages of four persons, the couple plus twins has increased by 12 years. That means each person's age increased by how many years again? Three years. Total four persons, husband, wife and the two children. Each person's age increased by how many years? Three years. So this is after another three years. Are you able to follow? I mean, explanation of course takes a little time, but if you are clear with how this age increases with the increasing average, you'll be able to solve this question without writing many, I mean, all those equations there. Again, if you understand now, from 66 to 96, how much is the increment in the sum? 30 years. But this 30 years is an increment for how many people? For 5 people. Who are those 5 people? Husband, wife, the twin children and the third child. Are you able to follow? At this point, the third child age was 0. At this point, the fourth child age is 0. Right? In 96 years, what is the contribution of this fourth child? 0 years. Right? This 96 years is sum of how many persons? 5 persons. Husband, wife, the twin children and the third child. Total 5 persons age is 96. The same 5 persons age was 66 few years ago. That means increment is how much? 30 years. 30 years is an increment for how many persons? For 5 persons. That means each person's age has grown by how many years? 6 years. Yes or no? 5 persons age has increased by 30 years. So each person's increase age has increased by how much? 6 years. So I can say this has happened. This has happened means what? The fourth child was born after another 6 years. After another 6 years. 
you getting it that's it this is the analysis that you have to do right so we can say now now let me explain you how we have got three right the difference 54 minus 48 by 2 is equal to 3 how we have got this 3 here this is 66 minus 54 by you have to do these calculations mentally but i am just writing it here so that you can follow up later right so 66 minus 54 difference is 12 12 by 4 persons which is again 3 here how did we get 6 years the difference is 30 96 minus 66 and this is for 5 persons right so we can say each person's age has increased by 6 years so if you understand when were the twins born the twins were born at this point after that how much time has passed three years plus three years uh, three years plus six years nine years now the current average age of the family is 19 years the current average age of the family is 90 years so i can say the sum of the couple i mean some of the ages of the couple plus the twins plus the third child plus the fourth child now this time the fourth child is not zero in the previous case the fourth child is was zero but this time it's not zero right how much is the total here 19 into 6 19 into 6 is how much it is 114 right how much is the increment here after how many years will this happen? So this sum becomes 114 after how many years? After 114 minus 96, how much? 18. 18 divided by 6, 3 years. After 3 years. So this is like 114 minus 96 by 6. So 18 by 6 is 3 years. After 3 years. So this 3 we have got here. Now, once you have done this analysis, you can answer any type of question here. Like, for example, the question is saying, what is the current age of the twin children? What is the current age of the twin children? What is the current age of the twin children? See, at what instant the twin children were born? Their age was zero years. Their age was zero years at this point, right? In the second stage. This is like, this is like first stage, second stage, third stage fourth stage and fifth stage there are five different stages given to us of this couple right in the first stage the couple was the couple got married i can say right in the second stage the twins were born in the third stage the third child was born in the fourth stage the fourth child was born in the fifth stage no child was born but there is a advanced age of all these members in the family now the question says what is the current age of the twin children understand we have already calculated the differences between all these stages, right? After how many years these stages have occurred? Now the question is, what is the current age of the twin children? The twin children were born in the second stage, right? See, the twin children age was zero years in the second stage. Now from second stage to fifth stage, how many years have passed? See, from second stage to third stage, three years. From third stage to fourth stage, six years. And from fourth stage to fifth stage, three years. So three plus six, nine, nine plus three, 12. So we can say the current age of the twin children is 12 years.